I wasn't expecting to say this, but My Hero Ultra Rumble is a pretty dang good time. It's a Battle Royale game, and we're all sick of those, but this one just happens to be charming enough for me to put the blinders on for at least a little while. It's nothing spectacular, it's not going to rock your socks off, it's just silly fun. And it's free. You can't beat free. I don't know about everyone else, but I've kind of needed one of these brain-off type of games. A game that's not so serious with a little competitive flair, but one I can still enjoy the whole time I'm playing. My Hero Ultra Rumble sits pretty comfy in that style of game. It's a trio's battle royale with eight teams. Everyone picks a hero or villain, although there are only four villains as of right now. Each character has a base set of tools that is largely the same. You can do a basic combo of melee attacks, everyone has a ranged attack, you can climb walls, crouch in bushes to hide and wait for an opportunity to jump out, or using it as an opportunity to heal up, dodge, jump, and sprint, and activate plus ultra when it's available for a recharge of your shield and some extra oomph. The differences show up in each character's special quirks that they can use, which manifests in two different attacks and your special ability that you have to meet the requirements for to activate. It's simple. It's not a really in-depth, complicated system, and I happen to appreciate it. Because of the simplicity, the fight feels a bit more like rock, paper, scissors than what you'd expect by just looking at it. You want to dodge around, get some good positioning to unleash your quirk, rinse, and repeat. That's only if you're in a 1v1, though. There is a bit more complexity when you utilize your teammates. Common can be really awesome with friends in this game, and I haven't really gotten this part down yet myself. You can string people together in some flashy, quirky combos if you use everything you've got. It's fun and silly when you get even something simple to work. You also get access to a special teammate ability on some characters. Ochako can make teammates float for bigger jumps, or Momo can drop some items, usually health or shield potions. They're just fun little additions that you can use to be a little bit more tactical with your team, but it's really not that serious. It's not a balanced game by any means. Some heroes have some insane movesets that can really mess people up, like Deku. This might be annoying for some, it's obviously not good game design, but again, I'm not playing this as like the next big battle royale or anything. I think of My Hero Ultra Rumble as more of a filler game, something to enjoy but not give too much thought to. The fights can get really chaotic with a ton of stuff going on on screen, Mount Lady going giant, stomping around all over the map, explosions everywhere, buildings collapsing, it's just crazy. The rest plays how you'd expect. You run around and loot boxes to get resources to sustain in fights. There are your basic Fortnite heal and shield potions, some mixed drinks, and backpacks to hold more loot. You can also loot revive cards to res fallen teammates, and then special power-up cards you can use for various effects. It's basic here too, but it keeps you moving and looking for the next fight. That's something I really appreciate in Ultra Rumble, just being able to go from fight to fight. Maybe a little downtime in between to restore yourself, but for the most part, it keeps the action up. I don't like a lot of downtime in these games, and My Hero Ultra Rumble does a pretty good job at keeping that downtime to a minimum. The only major negative I have for the game is the one map that's playable. It's just kind of boring. It's obviously not the best looking for sure, but also just kind of bland in terms of environments. The few areas that are unique compared to the rest are just different because there's some fire or rain. It's meh. I hope some new maps are added to mitigate this, but as of right now, this is what we've got. You can easily get in and out of matches, so if you want to hop on for a game or two, you can do that. It keeps me occupied, it keeps things moving, and for a My Hero Battle Royale game, I wasn't expecting that. The combat is simple but fun, and there are plenty of characters to play around with. I think it's definitely best if you've got a group of three to play with, but you can run a duo with a third random person like me and my buddy did. You'll have to work a little harder, but it's still doable. If you really want to try hard, you can play ranked, but there are some crazy players in there, so I'd recommend casuals until you get the hang of it. We got smoked a few times in ranked. This video is really just a PSA that this game is surprisingly fun for an anime battle royale game. It's not perfect, it's not something spectacular, but if you're bored and have nothing to play, why not give it a shot? If the price is zero dollars, you can always just uninstall if it's not your cup of tea. I happen to be having a blast with it at the moment, and I'm not even really a fan of My Hero Academia. I've watched some of the anime, but I didn't keep up with it, so if that's your concern for trying this game out, it's not a problem. And if you happen to run into me in-game, just know I'm gonna clap ya. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. Let me know what you think about My Hero Ultra Rumble. It's like a junk food video game for me, and I needed that. Anyways, I'm out. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.